with the with the universe being out of whack whoever has the uh, reality stone must be I don't know rubbing one out right now and the whole universe is going out of whack it's like take the infinity gauntlet off first Thanos you're killing us all Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved. Here I am on Ark and Yunaki Survival with like episode 81 or something, dude, or like 82. We're really getting up there. We're like nearing episode 100. This series is going for a while. And to be honest, the map, the map dev is updating the map ever so changingly, so there's no reason to ever change the map. There's like three new biomes since I've started that are, that are huge. Obviously, the creatures aren't going to stop coming in. There's almost no reason. I just kind of want to see how far we can get it. It's only going to go as far as you guys love it, though. You're freaking... Once these drop to even, like, 30k views a video, it's time to take a break on them again. But make sure to show you guys love if you want to see more. And let's get into it. Wait! Wait! There's something super important. Well, one, this creature's been added. That's absolutely the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's, like, up there with the Zilla. It's one of the most awesome things ever. There's actually been, like, a, like 20 creatures added that are crazy. But wait! What was it? Anyway, the most, okay, the most important thing, obviously. One thing I wanted to show you guys is that I have officially started an aisle server, an aisle server for us to all hang out on and party on and such. It is sandbox, not progression, because I just can't freaking stand those no KO, or no KOSing. Kill on sight. I've never said KOS like that before out loud. I've only typed it. I can't stand those servers, dude. I mean, look, all due respect to you guys, I hope you guys have the happiest little time hanging out with each other and just chatting as dinosaurs and everything. I need to hunt people and be hunted. Johnny doesn't want to be fed. Johnny wants to hunt. You know what I'm saying? So that's the server is, I mean, obviously you can make friends. You can do whatever you want. You and your friends can be two opposite species. I don't care. You guys can all form a giant pack of Stegos and Rexes that are the biggest passive shield people on the server that only help small people. But just don't be surprised when a pack of raptor comes up and tries to eat you. Even if there's food on the floor, no one just wants to be fed. You want your, your food to run from you. That's... Food tastes better when it's scared. That's just that, that's just what it's all about, baby. So yes, to show you guys the server, just for those of you who have played the aisle before, I assume you know what I'm talking about when I say you have to be on the developer branch. Not standard aisle, developer branch. You should just always be on the developer branch for everything. No matter which, every game you're playing, it has all the best stuff. So you go on the developer branch, and the server is called Valhalla. Now this is where it gets confusing. There's currently another server named Valhalla. The people adminning the server I'm on, like it's, it's like split, it's like three of our servers. Um, we're all, we're, we're considering changing the name because there's another Valhalla that was there first. Only reason I'm not, only reason I don't want to change it is because I actually have, I actually have Nordic heritage. I mean, it's, I feel like I'm disgracing my relatives if I leave the actual name Valhalla to a bunch of people who just kind of complained like, hey, you know, it's kind of rude and disrespectful that you have this. And then they left the chat before I could even reply. I was like, this is not... This is not how Vikings would be. This is Valhalla. I need to freaking claim this for the Vikings. Go in there and pillage and take it. So that's that's the only reason. I, it almost feels disrespectful to my ancestors. And eh, Infinity War just came out. Obviously, no one wants to freaking piss off anyone. It's it's you know what I'm saying. No one wants to piss off any Vikings right now. We should all just be respectful of them and their wishes and grant the server name to the best warrior. But I don't know. We still might change it. But Valhalla currently is the one with 150 possible people. There's one 130 possible, 150 possible. Ours is the 150 possible. That's how I tell it apart right now. All right, so enough of that 20 minute rant right there. Oh wait, okay, one more quick thing that I'm sorry, I swear to God. This, that last thing was actually relevant. I know this is an ARC video, but it's also where our family gathers my Anunnaki videos and my family also needs to be transferred onto the Nile service. We can all be fa fam bam together. Damn, Jesus. All right, so before I get into these incredible creatures that have been added and go hunt them down, we have like about 50 minutes to do it actually, because they only spawn in for about an hour once they're existent, or this one actually, the one specific one that we're hunting. Yogdrasil, the freaking giant forest god dragon. I wanted to ask you guys if Thanos spared your life or not. Did Thanos kill you? Or it's the, I'm not giving away any spoilers. There's no spoilers there whatsoever. That is zero, zero spoiler giveaway to the plot of Infinity War. I, I do have a rule on my Discord, you can't talk about it for like another week just for people who haven't seen it, but, to be honest, you guys should not be on the internet if you haven't seen the movie yet, or you should be, you should make it a priority to go see the movie, to be honest, but, um, or like watch it online illegally or something, but, I did not endorse that, but yes, there's a website down below in the comment section, just click it, and it basically says, if, you, if you've seen it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, if you haven't seen it, then it's still just a cool thing to think about, if Thanos would spare your life or not, and comment if he did or not, because, like, the, my, my cousin, the one I record, or the one I stream with every day, Ryan Arcade, uh, Monkey Troopa, he's got a bunch of names now, um, he didn't get spared! I got spared! It's actually an intense thing! 
It's very crazy to think about. I got spared. So yeah, check that link below in the comment section. I don't get money when you click it or anything. I'm just legit curious as to who got spared and who didn't get spared. Make sure to comment down below if you got spared or if you didn't get spared. It's very, it's a very intense question. It's by far the most intense question of my life. Or I, 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 I can't believe I got spared. It's crazy. But it's so sad everyone who didn't. It's crazy. All right, now to get onto the shizzle, there's some very fancy shizzle, much epic fancy stuff. Okay, I need to learn how to speak. I was when I, whenever I'm like looking and thinking, I just kind of speak absentmindedly, and I just don't even hear myself speak. Sometimes I tune into it though, and it's just absolutely retarded. Okay, so there's been many things added, many things that resemble certain giant insect against human creatures that uh, what am I trying to say? Like sp starship trooper style creatures. There's a bunch of just insanely epic dragons, and then there's been the world dragon. One of the six epic dragons of the Pyria myth mod, which exists somewhere doing something. Hang on, there's a lot of epicness to it. They appear randomly, they have like twice the level of the max level spawn creatures in your world. They only exist for about an hour, and to tame them, you must defeat them. Now, here's my only schnizzle with this. Where's, where's Yogdras here? Ooh, it's such an epic name right there. Whoa! Hang on, I need to look on the chains notes. Change, change note really quick. I can't speak! What? what? That's just, that's like, why do I even try and speak words when I'm, when I'm looking at stuff? It's just, it's just like tripping over. Hang on, scroll to the bottom. We gotta do this research together. I gotta see this information with you guys. Hang on. Yogdrazil. Okay, the mighty Yogdrazil is one of the Pyre's six dragon kings. A living force, its colossal, colossal size and power is truly a sight to behold. The Yogdrazil only emerges for a short time, and it happens to be extremely powerful. Long-lived individuals that do. Huh? These living forests are incredible. Are incredibly. Wait, I'm skipping lines. These living forests are incredible siege engines, able to call forth a powerful nature army at its whim. Yet Yogdrazil will only yield to its strong enough to. This is like reading Lord of the Rings. Hang on, I'm just gonna skip to where I'm going into it. Well, this is freaking Middle Earth words. A sort of event siege boss, a rare spawn that will only last one hour before disappearing. While Yogdrazil have more health than tamed ones, while Yogdrazil will always spawn with twice the level of your server's wild dino cap. Which weirds me out, because that one is spawning at about the wild dino cap almost. Arr, sniffles. Weird. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. That one actually makes- see, I had the admin make sure that there was going to be a beefcake one spawning on here, because it is random. So, I wanted to make sure that one would spawn in this, like, couple hours when I was on playing on here, so I had him kind of take care of all that. Basically learned my lesson by waiting for the other wardens to join the game I've still only seen two wardens naturally spawn out of like ten. It would never happen unless the admin took hold See, I want to go. I guess let's go see this thing's health before we just go vaporize it. He's just flying. Where, where in the poop are we going? Yeah, okay I know where you are for the most part. It's a scattered little island at the end there. Oh Wait, no, it's up higher. My numbers are completely off. Jesus. I'm so out of it right now. I streamed way too late yesterday. I made the biggest mistake of my life. You guys want to hear a funny story while I fly over there? It's a short one and it's gaming relevant. It's not rambling, I promise. Basically, just freaking recorded. I got up at like 6, recorded and edited till literally 6, and then started streaming Fortnite at 6. I was so brain dead, freaking exhausted. I was just, I did pretty good, but up towards the, by like, by like 10, 11, or like 10 o'clock, I was just dying. I was just so exhausted, I couldn't do anything. And the very last game I played, the very last, I was like, okay, one more, I'll just do one more, screw it. The very last game, freaking typical gamer, freaking 6 million subscribers, typical gamer. <laughs> Son of a bitch, he freaking just like freaking builds on top of me and dopes me in the face. I was exactly like, that typical gamer, are you kidding me? Then I go to his stream and I got to watch it. I got to watch it as as he killed me and his girlfriend killed Ryan and it was just like Jesus Christ like okay, that's it. <laughs> no more playing this one, I'm half asleep. I have I swear to god, like ask anyone I still have the clip because you could go back in. Should be yes. Yeah, see, I knew it'd be okay. There it is. It's, it's, it's just stuck in a tree. It's hard to see because it is a tree itself. It is a tree itself. But yeah, you can go back in re replay mode now and see everything. So I literally have the clip. Like it's it's r ridiculous. Hey, get out of here, you butthole! What did I just kill? Okay, so look at the tremendous size of this bad one. Let's see, we're looking at two million health. You know what? That's actually a pretty fat amount of health, buddy. That's quite the uh, health stickles you've got there. The dragon itself is huge. Oh my god, that that that's what I want to do right now. Read, yes. Thank you, wild card. Let's get a looky poo with this guy right here. He's pretty damn giant. He doesn't seem like a max size one though at all. I don't think he is. I think this one's a little one. I mean, he doesn't look very little, but I was looking at him before in the dev kits, or not in the dev kit, in the mod page, and they um. 
Look, I mean, I guess they are. These dudes got trees. Yeah, he's pretty damn huge. Just those trees and bushes alone all over his body, which are my favorite part, by the way. Are jai freaking enormous. Okay, so if we're gonna kill you, I'd rather not. I know he's like, it, it, it sh you should, in these kind of situations, do an honorable fight and everything. I'd rather do a fun one, though, than an honorable one. In the words of that Scottish guy from Wonder Woman, he gets paid for honor. <laughs> It's not a good accent because I don't do good accents. All right, you're not on to something here. It's common sense All right, well now we're gonna go back to our freaking now. We get to go choose a Creature I right, see he's got about two million health. Let's keep it relatively. I can't believe you just did that I cannot believe you just cost me another five seconds. I Only got like 10 trillion of these and then I die Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the coolest of them all? I feel like bringing Odin on this battle. When's the last time I brought our buddy into, into fight? And obviously this is not a very fair- Oh, it's not even a remotely fair fight. It really isn't. But we never get to bring Odin into battle. What are you attacking, bud? What's going on over here? What's the poop? What's up with the frame rate droppage? How the hell did a giant bear get in here? That's, I mean, that's, that's a bit of a whoopsie doodles right there. How does it slip past the guards? Excuse me, sir. I mean, as long as he's peaceful, I got no beef with him. Oh, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy, but my dog is like literally the strongest creature to ever exist in Ark. It's what makes him such a magnificent being. Did you drop any experience potions for the noobs? I got some tech shoes off him. Some fancy boots. I just realized we haven't gone to the upside down in a bit. I wonder what the hell is going on over there. I don't want to bring Sardine. Sardine will die. It's just too amazing. It's literally a spore creature of a freaking dragon right here. Actually, a spore creature. See where this one's come from is where that big Yajuzo came from. Let's see. I don't want to bring a Dota Rex. It's too generic. I don't want to bring you. You'll die. You're our world snake. You're pretty passive at this point in your life. Wait till Kratos walks by and give him some advice that he won't understand at all. No one speaks your language. You know what? I think it's time to go cook someone with the dog. No, but he's a giant world dragon. He's got, but you know, he's got, uh, hang on a second. We're missing somebody. <gasps> Wait a second. Where's our dude with the volcanoes on his back? Hang on. Wait, where's, where's, uh, hey, 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 hey. This is no bueno. How things keep getting out, I don't know. I feel like the gate shouldn't actually open unless I'm there, right? So that would make the most sense. He's not in here being eaten, is he? What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's just a regular old dragon that really, really drops your frame rate. What a lovely... Thank you for that! Pretty cool looking dragon. I wonder if my frame rate's punishing. I, I don't even know what he does anymore. I just He just ate an Indominus Raptor. He's just eating wild Indominus Raptors out there. That's... that's what, what a bastard! Dude, where's the other guy? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I don't want to point fingers here, but somebody dropped the ball. Where the hell did he go? That was like such a cool creature. And he's very strong too. It actually doesn't even make any sense. Also, what's up with the frame rate? You know what it is? I love some of these mods so much, but I swear to freaking God, this mod has, t it has like a thousand creatures in it now. Just, I said this last time. I suppose it's pretty cool to go out of here. Just a bit of regular old creatures fighting it, fighting out, but... If I see another freaking pack of mermaids li loading or lying in my game, I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm actually gonna kill, let's kill somebody. Alright, I don't know where our buddy went, which is scary, because he was awesome. This, this guy gets free roam, because he's, um, huge. Watch him just be in here. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. Well, well, that's the pro- Oh, he's right here against the wall. Wow, you bastard. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, Deadpool. I just ordered the dopest Deadpool mask in the freaking world. It was stupidly expensive. Why are you so weak, buddy? What's going on here? Problems at home? The wife been beating you? I think that's what's going on here. This is spousal abuse if I've ever seen it. Spoutal? Spoodle abuse. I just don't want to freaking leave a side eye. He's at least 100k health. I know he ain't got no health now, but it'll regenerate. And then he'll be able to, um... Then he'll be able to tell people off. Tell people what's for. It's not gonna get to 100,000 in it. You're, you're goddamn disappointed is what you are. Get away from there, you're just gonna die. What's going on over here? Demigorgon should not be in conflict conflict because it's so weak. See, I'd bring Pestilence, but Pestilence is just a fight would take forever. I'm more just also checking up on my creatures. Pestilence barely does any damage at all. The only thing he does is his Pestilence. So it's like, he'll do like a couple thousand damage, he'll, he'll radiate you. Your ass will die of cancer in 20 minutes. But until then, nothing's gonna happen. 
I think we've all decided I'm bringing Odin. I think it's time to just go roast us a world creature. And how much damage? Okay, all right, all right. Come on, my most, my most for. Oh, look how little that freaking. God, those dragons are little. Those are one such giant epic beasts to me. Now they're just petitos. Well, this is silly. There's nothing out here. He's not gonna one shot. How much damage do you do, though, buddy? Only 300k. I think it's a fair fight. That's ah, a fair fight. You know what? Who the hell said it has to be a fair fight? That's right. All right, I'm getting getting all cut loose now. All right, dragon of the gods. Where shall thou be killed? It is a good day to die. All right, so we just gotta slay this bad boy who is completely stuck in the trees. And then once we slay him, I assume we get this thing on his wrist. He's gonna take a nibble. Nibble! Am I able to initiate damage to this thing? 40,000 damage nibbles. Holy crap, what's he doing? He's stuck in the trees. I gotta free him, this isn't fair. See how I can break trees? Cause I'm fancy. I'm a dog breaking trees down. Some dogs pee on trees, I break them. I've set you free. You belong to me now, Spectre. Holy snap apples. That was a lot of damage to him, I feel bad about that. He's summoning trees! He's a tree dragon summoning trees. The logic is lost on me. You've seen you jammed yourself up with tree people, fool! Ironwood ends, those are crazy somehow. They're bigger, I feel like, they're much bigger. They're definitely bigger, he's got the whole forest coming after me right now. Poor bugger keeps getting caught in the trees, look at this all, just cook his birds! <laughs> Odin demonic status doesn't give a poop what you think. He's pretty epic. Come on, buddy, you can keep up. We're just too fast. Honestly, the most unfair thing you could possibly go up against him with right here. But we never go. We never fight with Odin, because Odin is a demonic creature. Although Odin did, um, Odin did lose. Yeah, I don't even think. I think he regenerates too fast. Odin did almost lose to those, um. To those, I'm just gonna turn to finish you, buddy, to those freaking wardens. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying right there. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, on the holy earth, stop it. But yes, Odin and these demonic creatures are some of the most powerful creatures in the Primal Fear mod. They are crazy. This poor bugger. See, strategically, I just thought I should have used the freaking fire creature because he's a, he's, you know, he's like a, clearly a grass. If this were Pokemon, but you flick a lit cigarette at this dragon and you're defeating it one way or another. Come on, buddy. The day of reckoning is at hand. Oh, schnizzle, one more freaking fire breath and down he goes. Schnizzle's right, Johnny. Huh? Huh? A choo! <laughs> down goes Yogdrasil. A beast so epic, the only way I could ever actually bring myself to remove it from this world would be by the thought that I can... The seed produced by a dead Yagrazil is used to reincarnate it, thus the creature truly never dies. The exact reason I could never actually kill one. It's just too beautiful. If it was actually dead, I would, have, I would, never, have, I would never have harmed that creature. I would have left it alive forever. There you go, now you got some schmidgems. Every time I think I see a cool snake, it's a Medusa. Every time! Every time! Sorry, it's just been too much. I do love a lot of these random What the hell? I feel like it- What the hell is going on around here? Was the other one here too? This feels flawed. This feels weird. This feels very flawed. Have you always been right there? Have they been right next to each other the whole time? Did you just walk out of the trees? If I rewatch this video when I edit it, is that one gonna be right next to that one the entire time? Or is there just someone I'm hoping no admin stuff is getting too crazy? One's plenty, please! I wonder what the hell is going on around here. I don't I guess I guess it's the best of both worlds. Now we got a wild one just living free. And one that can come home with me. Hey, let's go see how the seed works first off. And then I'll worry about what's going on with um with the with the universe being out of whack. Whoever has the uh, reality stone must be, I don't know, rubbing one out right now and the whole universe is going out of whack. It's like, take the infinity gauntlet off first, Thanos. You're killing us all. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have to put this seed way, way up my butt. Uh, chew. Oh, oh, there's a baby. Oh, thank God. I thought I ate it. Oh, my life was over. Oh, you just get a baby. That's the dopest thing ever. 
Oh, I punched the baby! Oh my god, Johnny. Okay, what do you eat, little Yagazil? Spit, spit in his mouth. Oh, you, I forgot you have to eat food first and then chew it up and then do that. I forgot birds do that. I thought, I, for, for a second, I just thought birds just kind of spit in their children's mouths. All right, little dude, Um, what do you eat? What, what, what do Yagazils eat? I gotta Google this. I suppose it probably might be on the mod page, so Googling might be just a stupid thing to do, but I was, you know, I was, it, was, it was a joke, you know, like, what the hell is the Yogdrazil? What do Earth Dragons eat? Mine only eats non-dairy cheese. It's a thing. Well, what's going on, little fellas? Essentially a dragon- Oh man, we're not gonna get to fly you or anything? <laughs> well, maybe. Yaw, little bastard! Alright, well, I kind of want to name it Boy, because I want to name something Boy really bad so I can call it Boy, but it's just gonna grow up and be an adult. The tongue is bigger! The world snake tongue is bigger than the Yogdrazil. Look how cool he looks, though! He's such a little fart! I love the trees on him! Yogdrazil is actually from the same uh, pack of creatures purchased by Shadlos that I was supposed to throw down money on. I totally forgot. Oh my god, can someone please remind me to do that? But um, I just remembered till literally just now. But they, they come from the same pack. This one is but an aquatic sea dragon of water ethnicities. This one being a tree dragon. Yogdrazil the world dragon. Thank you, Deadpool. Stepping right on the baby world dragon. Very decent of you, sir. Actually, we should probably go get some food. Deadpool, get your ass over here. We're going shopping, buddy. I love this base. I don't know why everyone escapes, but I love it. That's right. Oh, the prime. And some mutton. Some mutton too, because why not, man? Why not? Alright, now one thing, we need to go hit up that, that rock trake area. Ah, it's about to be nighttime though. Can't do much at nighttime. I have night blindness for the most part. Yo, I don't know about that. Let's see if it's some berries. Uh, maybe, maybe you want some eggs? I don't know. Just make this kid like a freaking sandwich. Oh, camera turned off. Make this kid a sandwich and raw meat. Some of that. Uh, 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 what else do you want? What, what, else, what else do you eat, kid? Want some Utyranus lungs? Are you a creature out of Supernatural? I don't know what to name this little fart. Perhaps he wants some blood? Nah, kids these days don't want blood. Spoiled little twerps. Yogdrazil is producing wildflower and black pearls, which already makes me love him so much. I don't know what you want to eat though, bud. Oh yeah, the uke, the freaking yuca saddle. I remember that nightmare now. I remember. He's just gonna keep rapidly producing flowers. You're a magnificent little fart, you know that? You're gonna come in a lot of handy. Okay, now we have a very easy way to get to the rock trakes now. We just go to the graveyard. Really thought ahead on that one. Why are there cuts all over my knuckles? What the hell is that? I like crack my knuckles. I just feel like jaggedness all the way down. Weird. Wait, we've definitely lost some subscribers. You know what we're gonna do? I'll just, cause I'm just gonna keep naming a few Dota Rexes every video until we have about 10, and then it's time for a giant worm battle where we're gonna lose about 10. And then the graveyard will get bigger. It's all about expanding the graveyard size. All right, what's going on, Drakes? Need these, cause I have some crazy stuff on my on my freaking target on my on my thing. That is now that these are in the world, there are so many other epic things that we can tame. Dude, Griffin really would have just ruined aberration. Absolutely ruined it. This becomes the easiest thing in the world when you can just, especially especially a freaking magical fabled Griffin. If we're if we're calling out specific Griffins here, this one definitely makes it easiest. It's just a tank, and then of course at the end he just does this magical little blast. Actually, I should tame more crazy modded griffins, because I'll bet they all have their own little crazy power. If they do, it would be so sad that I didn't yet. Ooh, at the bottom. I gotta be honest, I really like this egg nest area a lot more than Aberrations too. I mean, that one's cool, but this one's like, it's just cool. It's like, it's it's like, how did the rock shakes know to come here? It also scares me. It's like, what an easily killed off um, species. They're all in one little place. These are all poo poo levels anyways. You know what we need is a goddamn well, I guess where would the alpha eggs be spawning or is that just extinction that does that? I think it might be just extinction that does that. I don't know. By the way, I don't want to give away anything at all, but let's just say that we will be doing extinction not going anywhere, but this whole group of arc YouTubers that is on extinction has some very crazy stuff coming up that we're all obviously going to be doing together. So don't worry about that. The multiplayer aspect of our whole group is, is stronger than freaking ever, to be honest. Or it will be in a month. All right, come on, damn it. There we go. They're all so rich and full with eggs. I mean, they're all kind of low-level poopy eggs, but I'm not hatching them. I don't care about these kids' futures. They're going to be poop. 
They're gonna be digested inside of an egg. They're gonna have to freaking just realize that sheer horror that hell on earth they're going through. Well, they're all trying to get to me. Oh man, wings really ruin this. Wings really make this easier. Oh, do we fly right through these? That's not good. Uh oh. Look at them all. They can't get to me. That's so sad. They're trying. They're all in the water down there. I might have just drowned so many rock drakes involuntarily, actually. That's kind of sad. I just killed off an entire species right there. Probably shouldn't build on the edge of water if you don't know how to swim. That's rule one through three of making a rock drake area. I mean, they're rock drakes. Not, not, the, the map obviously is perfect. I'm not referring to that. Well, I got all I came for, and I'm ready to tame some epic stuff next episode. Now, make sure to drop those name suggestions for Yardrazil, just because... I don't know, usually the, the, a lot of names I'll keep it, like as the epic name they need to have, but Yogg-Drazil I feel like could have a nickname for sure. It doesn't need to just be called Yogg every time, even though that would be cool too. I don't know, if the number one vote was just stick with yogg I'd probably respect that as well. So yes, make sure to comment, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace! <laughs>